Today we're going to walk you through the download and installation of SourceTree. Hello, my name is Roland Texan with Game of Apps, preparing youth for 21st century careers. Today we're going to be downloading and installing SourceTree, first on a Windows machine, then in Mac OS. So if you're using Mac, um, a Mac, uh, you could uh, just jump uh, ahead to the uh, to the Mac section. All right. So in Windows, uh, we first want to go to the Source Tree website. So Source Tree, and it's this one here, SourceTreeApp.com. So let's open that. see here a free git client for Windows and Mac so let's go ahead and download it for Windows okay it's finished downloading let's show all and open it in the folder so we can go ahead and double click on that to run it So we'll connect to our, our accounts later. We're just going to install source tree first. Here we're going to use Git. So I'm going to un um, unselect Mercurial. Okay, it's complete. This here's the preferences. Uh, it, we can set the uh, the name and our email address uh, for, for our commit. So I'm just going to put my name and my email address. I don't have an SSH key yet, so I'm just going to say no, and we can set that up later if needed. Okay, great. So it's installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close, uh, minimize this. Let's start an Android Studio project. Okay, so I have one here already created in um, C Users Roland Android Studio Projects My Application. So. Yeah, if you don't have one, you can go ahead and create one from Android Studio. So I'm going to run Commander. And I'm going to go into that folder. Okay, great. So um, this, this um, project has not been initialized for Git yet. If I do a git status, uh, it'll tell me that this is not a git repository. So we have another video. Please uh, go ahead and take a look at that if you're not familiar in setting up git and uh, pushing this repository into Bitbucket. So I'm going to do git init here. So it initializes this. So if not git status. So this is now a, a git uh, pro. Um, I get initialized the project. So if you don't understand these commands here, uh, go and look at our Git um, Git video, and then you can uh, understand it. Okay, so I'm adding all these files to my Git repo. So now I have a Git repo set up here. It's only local right now because I haven't um, I haven't pushed it. Uh, to Bitbucket yet, but that's okay because uh, right now I just want to show you how to add a repo to a source tree. So now I'm going to source tree here. So it's uh, we want to add a local repo. I can drag and drop repository folders in here. So let's do that. Android Studio Projects, and this is my repo here, my application. So let's drag it in. Okay, there we go. So now if I double click on that and I go to the master branch, then it shows me my, re my repo there. So that's all there is to it. So what I showed you today, um, we downloaded SourceTree from SourceTreeApp.com. We installed it. Uh, and then after it's installed, I just um, pointed it to my local repo and it added it into, um, into SourceTree. So now I can view it. 
uh, if I connect this uh, repo to a remote um, branch, uh, I mean to a remote repo like uh, Bitbucket, then it'll show it here too and I can see both uh, origin and remote. Okay, so first off, we need to download it from sourcetreeapp.com. So download from Mac OS X, I agree. Okay, so it's finished downloading. So it's downloaded it to my downloads folder. So let me open this in Finder and we can see it there. And I need to drag this over into my applications folder. So now it's in my applications folder. Now I need to run this. So if I just double click on this, uh, you will you could get an error message saying something like this can't be open because Apple cannot check for malicious software so um, This is uh, for your own security, but because we know we downloaded this from a, a secured site a trusted site sourcetree.app so, uh, Sourcetreeapp.com. I'm going to click on the control key so control and then double click Control uh, right click open so now we have this open um, option here, which uh, didn't uh, wasn't there before. So I can go open. You only need to do this once. Uh, once you've done this once, then um, then it'll open it next uh, next time. So I already have some existing uh, repos uh, here on my computer because I have Source Tree installed uh, previously. But I'm going to add a new one. So I have a repo here on my desktop, or actually no, it's on in well here. Let's open up uh, Android Studio. I have a repo here called My Application. And if I look at the uh, path here, it says slash users role in Android Studio projects, My Application. So that's where it lives. So let's double check. Uh, Roland Android Studio Pro projects, My Application there. So I'm going, going back to source tree. And what I'll do is I'll go add existing local repo. Then it'll ask me to locate that, so it's under Roland Android Studio Projects, my application. And I can open that. Uh, actually, I forgot to do one thing. That's a brand new um, project that was created by Android. I, hasn't, I haven't initialized it for Git yet. So let me do that now. I'm not going to explain the whole thing on what uh, initializing for Git means, but go look at our Git uh, and version control systems video, and uh, you'll be able to understand it there. So we'll explain it better there. So I'm going to go to Android Studio Projects, my application. So see if I do a git status here, it'll say that this is not a git repository. So let me do a git init. So now it's a git repo. I haven't added any files yet, so I'm going to add all the files. Now they're added and I'll do my first commit. Okay. So now we have a a repo that's set up. So if I go back here again, let me start over. Add existing local repo. Now I can go to uh, users Roland Android Studio Projects My Application. If I go open, it'll add that in here. If I hadn't done the Git init before doing that, it won't be able to add it because it won't won't have been set up as a Git repo. Now I double click on that. I go into master and I can see that. Sure enough, I have a master branch with one single commit. Once I push this uh, into Bitbucket, then it'll show me both local and origin as well. Okay, so that's it. Uh, today we uh, that was um, we just demoed you two things: downloading and installing Source Tree uh, on Windows, and downloading and installing Source Tree on the Mac. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about how to use Source Tree. Uh, it's not covered in this video, but it's in our uh, Git and version control systems uh, video. Great. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.